everyone. Greg here from Master Trader. Well, looks like the markets are a little apprehensive here after uh, yesterday's move up. Um, futures last night, probably around 1 o'clock in the morning or so. S&Ps were up, oh, I think they were up 2 or 3. And uh, the NASDAQ was up about 14. And now it just turned negative. So uh, you can see here on the 30-minute chart starting to roll over a little bit. It's got room to drop. Um, you know, you've got the wide range bar from, from yesterday. However, this minor support here, the red line, which I guess got to turn it to green, um, was resistance should become support. And that would be a pretty ideal place for prices to pull back into. Just, you know, as a general rule, this type of wide range bars, you know, uh, retracements into them, we want them to this, to stop at a maximum, let's say around 50% of the range, but ideally is right where that minor support is right there, right in the, in the upper third of the range. So we'll see if it can do that. You know, looking at the intraday chart, there's no support here, as you can see, there's no support. Um, you know, whether it'll hold right here, kind of a rounding top, I wouldn't think so, but you know, we'll see. Um, you know, so between you know, here, you know, and here, you know, as it's going through here, you know, there, there's nothing, and this this is the concept of a void. Now, those of you that are looking at possibly trader pivot lines or your Fibonacci lines, you know, all of that is subjective stuff. Uh, but when it comes to, you know, the, the futures here, the S&Ps, trader pivot lines do come into play. I don't know where they are um, at the moment. Don't have them on here. Um, but if they're anywhere in between here and here, um, that could be a focal point where, um, you know, the S&Ps might find some buyers and then what we'd look for you know is you know so let's just assume it's there what i would look for anyway um is to come down and do a little retest and then you know we'd go we'd go with it and go for a buy and we'll see if it can get through here now just realize that you know after a wide range bar typically you get the narrow range day and it just stays that way for most of the day. So it just could be just a choppy day. So keep that keep that in mind as you, you know, read the tea leaves as they unfold here today. Um, as I said, the, the NASDAQ futures were up about 14, 14 and change um, overnight. You know, they'd run up and um, now they're coming back in and they, they are right on this support point. But again, you can see the wide range bar. It's at this resistance, um, so they're they're stalled here, and we'll see if they can get back through it. And if they can, well, then you know other stocks that you know the Nvidia's will be in play, um, you know, which it showed some decent strength, the ability to come back yesterday, um, you know. So it's 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 kind of rebuilding after this nasty drop. Um, so little to stop it from going higher. Let's just. Move this out here a little bit to see the uh, the drop of the wide range bar. So I think I mentioned this the other day. You know, here's the concept that creates the void. The momentum moved to the downside. There's no resistance here because you know, it's like a gap. Like it's as if it gapped down and then there's just nothing there because of the way it, it dropped. And now over time, you know, you got the retest and another retest. You know, it was sellers were showing up here, and then we're, you know prices were able to get through it. So now at this point, the assumption is, you know, you follow the trend that develops here with the assumption that, you know, it has the possibility to move back up to those highs, but you follow the trend. Does it continue to make higher highs and higher lows? And of course, that is, you know, relevant to the time frame you're looking at. So uh, if you were to drop down to a five minute or a one minute, you know, you could get you know, a break and then back up, but that's the nature of, you know, smaller time frames, and you, you have to know how to combine the higher time frames, the lower time frames, and have a plan for that. Oil just continues to be weak, making new lows here. As you can see, it's coming down toward this support area that, is, that it has been bouncing from, so it's a critical point, but you can see it's just, you know, just dropping again. Um, so 
we'll see where that goes. It's not going to be helping the energy stocks, which, you know, could, could be bottoming here. It'll be interesting to see if they continue to find buyers in this area while oil continues to drop. So that's something that we'll be keeping an eye on. Um, XLF. Looking good. I mentioned that yesterday. Um, you know, it just kind of peaked above these highs here. And, you know, it's down a little bit like, the you know, the markets are. So it's going to be a little tentative here, at least first thing in the morning. And it just might turn out to be, you know, a consolidation day. We'll see. JP Morgan uh, came on strong, whereas Citibank had been leading. It began to uh, hold back a little bit. So... Uh, a little bit of a, a change in uh, leadership there from one to the other. Goldman, you know, doing okay. You know, so the momentum really hasn't picked up in these yet. They're still, you know, um, being accumulated, and we'll see if they can start to break out as well as Fargo. And that had backed off as well. So, um, you know, City looking good, but we'll see, uh, you know, as it can hold here after that that push up here and this may just be some consolidation that goes on uh we looked at nvidia tesla that's another sign of you know traders being tentative here it was up earlier and now it, you know it's pulled back it's still up what is it here um it's no well, it's still up 571 it's still up there a bit, five points or so, but it was it was considerably higher. You know, it was it was up here. So, um, sellers coming into it now. Uh, e trade looking interesting. You know, again, one of the financials in this one. Uh, so you can see the similarity in the pattern, and it acted well. Uh, just hanging up here, so that might continue to to move up in the coming days, if that sector continues continues to Apple up a little bit today clearly that this has been damaged and uh and i'm sure we're all waiting to see can it even get up to this minor support area it's held that major support area here and um we're going to see if this can survive this drop because this was you know severely damaged uh you know you got the double top there and we'll see if it can build up some support or whether it's going to roll back to the downside and if it does, well, where where does it stop? Well, could it be the 200? I mean, there's really nothing here of any significance. And what else here? Facebook, down a little bit here, chopping around, coming back up toward the highs. Uh, Amazon, not doing much. You know, gapped up and came back in yesterday. And you can see it's just flat here. Not much going on, so... Overall, not a lot happening here. A little bit of a, you know, this profit taking after yesterday and chopping around. So be careful there today as, uh, you know, you may just have a consolidation day going on here. All right, good trading, everyone.